Today I'm gonna take y'all on a little tour of Filthy's Hot Shot Crib. All right. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I have an F350 Dooley. I would say that she's probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. She's quite something. All right, there she is. That's a 2021 F350. Those are 37s, 20 inch rims. Those are grapplers, trail grapplers, 37s, all the way around. Fuel rims, the grill right here. BRP, backroadproducts.com. Check them out in Houston. That's where you can find them. And this is how we do it right here. Spare tires at the top. I've got two trailer tires and then I keep 137 up there just in case. Although those are some pretty donkey tires. Yeah. I don't see those bad boys going flat for any reason at all. However, I do have a plug-in kit in my toolboxes. That's how we set up. All right, so let's take a look inside. See how Filthy does his day-to-days, right? So, as everyone should know, this is a necessity. I mean, hands down. Not only does it make you look cool, but it feels good on your boot. When you've been in the truck for 11 hours a day, trust me, you want something that's gonna take care of that booty. Okay. Plus, you want to save your seat as best you can, you know? You don't want your truck to look like it has been driven all over the country whenever you get home. You want to try to keep, keep it as clean as you can, at least I do. So, that's what I do there. So, this is how I do things right here. As you can see, I've got my little spot up top for my GPS, I've got my spot in the center console for my phone. I've got all my little deodorant and things like that I keep in the center right here. You know, uh, I'm a little bit more of a natural type kind of guy. I don't use any perspirants. I only use deodorant, so when you do that, you gotta use it a couple times a day. Put it on just so you stay, stay fresh, but uh, that'll be for another story and another day. I keep some blankets right here just so that I don't mark up my center console with my arm. This is a brand new truck, right? However, I spend so much time in it that I don't want to, I don't want it to lose the luster of being new. So as you can see, I keep some things like right here. My knee actually rubs against this. That's why this is here. So I don't want to have a rub mark on this stuff. You know, I've got a steering wheel cover. Um, I actually was already getting a spot right up here from my fingers from holding the steering wheel in my ring. So I went ahead and put a steering wheel cover on. Obviously, you know, we've got to have the mask. <laughs> But uh, sunroof never really opens. That's the moonroof I've got in there. Those are only for those romantic evenings I need to have with myself, which are very rare, actually. I'm generally tired by the time the end of the day has come. And it's like, all right, let's just walk around and then let's go to bed. We've got to do it all over again tomorrow so let's go 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 all the time let's check out the bed all right 
Now I'll prop this up for the sake of time and for looking like a weakling trying to pick that thing up for you guys on TV. These hefty containers are what's up if you don't have something set up like this. This has been the best I've found option. I have tried some other things. This has been the best option for me. I've got two of them. And well, also what I did was I roll up all my clothes. This is actually uniform that I created um, from Target. Uh, so there's some Target shorts, active shorts, black Target active shirts, golf shirts, um, sweat resistant, you know, but I also have the black shorts as well. And I just keep that uniform simple. It's the same thing every week. Um, I do have some jeans and some things of that nature, you know, if I happen to be somewhere, I happen to be somewhere where friends are, um, then I can go out to dinner and I don't have to look like I've been climbing all over my trailer all day. Um, this little basket has a lot of little things in it, um, Febreze, wipes, and this dry shampoo if you don't use it get it it'll save your life we'll talk about that on another one too let me tell you something else that's going to save your life these weather techs okay cost about 150 dollars they make them for all trucks be sure that you get the right one for the right truck what i mean by that is crew cab extended cab quad cab uh, be sure to be very specific whenever you're doing that. And try not to make that mistake like I did. I actually thought that I had selected the four door forward and I ended up with like some kind of half deal. They sent me the wrong ones. And luckily, they were really cool about it and they helped me out and sent me the right ones within just a couple of days. And we swapped everything out, so it was cool. I've got laundry detergent back there and I've got some paper plates back there, fire extinguisher in the truck. This is actually a requirement. So DOT is going to be looking for the fire extinguisher in the vehicle, first aid in the vehicle. So you guys already know that that's necessary. Now I do have a fire extinguisher that I keep on my trailer. That stays there. Uh, that's actually the right size that you need for DOT regulation. This little white one is just for in the truck, but that satisfies DOT. So we're good with that. This is a six inch foam mattress. Uh, uh, it's a twin bed. So when you take this out, it is actually a twin bed. I did have to cut it and I cut it on one side and then I, I folded it up to, to fit the length here. I think the actual length in here might be somewhere close to 68. Okay, 72, six feet. So you're probably thinking, dude, how do you fit in there, man? Uh, I'm going to show you how I do all that in just a minute. Um, these seats are pre-programmed to push all the way forward. So it does give me more room. You do have to get diagonal in the truck, but uh, you do have plenty of space. So if the temperature is somewhere around 50 degrees outside, I don't run the truck at all. If the temperature is, you know, 65 or better than the truck runs at night. And uh, there are advanced settings options in your Ford to do that. If you don't know them, then uh, just go to your advanced settings and you can find them there. Um, when I actually started this originally, I didn't know that and the truck kept dying and I was in Colorado, it was snowing, woke up to like four inches of snow all over my truck and I was freezing. And uh, anyway, we, we did get it worked out, thank God. So, uh, Trial and error, that's all it is, right? You gotta learn. So, uh, that's my little bag where I go to hotels. I only stay in hotels on Saturdays and Sunday nights to reset, that's it. Every Monday through Friday night is the truck. I do not waste money at all on hotels. If you do, uh, that's up to you. It, it, it's however you run your program. I'm not, I'm not uh, giving advice on how to run programs. I'm just showing you guys how I run mine. So I have the two pillows here. I have a little blanket, all this good stuff. This is my bag that I, that's, I, I call it my truck stop bag because I keep things in there like face wash, 
wet wipes, my toothbrush, toothpaste, things like that. I actually don't go in truck stops and brush my teeth. Um, I, I just stay outside of the truck or I'll stay in the truck and brush my teeth and use water bottles back and forth and things like that. But uh, that's my truck stop bag right there that I use all my hats, got some shoes and stuff. And of course, pugs, not drugs. Gotta have a set of these. It's absolutely necessary. So this section of the truck is probably one of the most important sections that I'm about to show you guys. Okay, this is the office section of the truck. All right. As you see, I've got my computer bag right here. All everything I need. I've got my printer, which is actually the smallest printer available ever. HP makes it. You can look it up get you one on Amazon they're fairly inexpensive paper this bag right here has got paper clubs stapler staple remover everything that I need for my mobile office and this is actually how I operate if I need to print out a bill of lading or I need to create something or I need to keep all my paperwork together for each job this is exactly what I do uh, my bags right there I set my printer up I print out what I need to print out and uh, we keep on moving I have a couple of folders here that I keep all the most important documents in um, this one this folder right here is actually all of the documents if I were to go through an inspection uh, or go through any state that is just wants to see paperwork sometimes they don't get a good look at your license plate so they don't know if you're a portion or not and uh, you know they want to call you in and they want you to bring your papers and so that's what I do I keep all of this stuff completely together it's paper clipped together in here I can walk right in and I have everything that they would possibly need ready to go don't waste my time and I won't waste your time. Let's go, go, go. Uh, I keep this one just specifically for my bill of ladings and the job that I'm currently on. So we are in Phoenix right now. If you guys have ever been in Phoenix, then you know that Man, it's kind of hard to get out of here. If we'll ever come back to Phoenix, beautiful place, you know. Props to Phoenix people, Phoenixians, <laughs> whatever it is. Um, get my drift, but uh, it's, it's 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 hard. We did take a good run in here. Uh, I've got a great team. We're trying to get out of here right now, um, but uh, we are battling the um, inevitable which is in these areas, Colorado, Utah, Nevada, New Mexico, you definitely don't ever want to go to New Mexico, uh, West Texas on up to Montana. Um, and those areas, they're just horrible to get out of. Um, I think the brokers there know that people will just basically take anything because it's what they have to do to get out. And so these brokers are stealing money from us. Um, bag. It's really disgusting. But we'll figure out how to fight it. I've got some pretty good ideas on how we're going to start fighting all that. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I work this at night when I stop. I'll go to, I like Pilot. Pilot serves Pilot serves home food. Like they actually have a cafeteria where they've cooked different things throughout the night. And generally, the people that are there are really, really, really good about giving you a pile of food for ten dollars. And uh, you know, you can keep it healthy if you want to keep it healthy, which is what I try to do. I'll make some more videos on what I do. I exercise every other day. I typically stop at Pilots, and so when I do stop. I'll go inside and uh, stretch my legs for a minute. I kind of like to window shop a little bit. Pretty much all of the truck stops have the same stuff in them. Um, but every now and then you might find some cool knives or, you know, just some cool stuff to kind of look at temporarily and kill some time. So that's what I do. Let's put this down. 
this for a second here. Okay, so I've got that squared away the way that it actually is. I keep those two by fours on either side. As you can see there, uh, sometimes this will droop. I could have made this platform a little bit longer, but I did. It's easier. The reason I didn't make it so long is because I so that I can get the platform in and out of the truck whenever I get home. I actually do put the seat back in there. I have a son, he's in his car seat. And so I wanted to make it as easy as possible to get the platform in and out. I did wrap the platform as well so that you can see that it's not gonna tear up the inside of my truck at all. Um, make things a little bit more functionally easier, okay? So now I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do at night. So I have my seat set at pre settings already. I'll actually move that other seat up fairly, fairly far. I don't need to because my head, I always put my head on my back right side. I just move this up because my feet over here on this side. Okay. I will come back here and take my shoes off. There's there's room that I can sit up right here, so I can put my legs right here if I need to and sit up. I'll take my phone and I'll set it up in the top with the light on if I need light, or I can run the inners. If I'm not running my truck, then the inners will turn off. So I'll just use my phone and prop it up so I've got a light shining down. I can um, look at my notepad, go over things that I might need to do for the night. If I need to pull my laptop out, I'll pull it out. And I'll stretch out over here and take care of bills, take care of accounting, whatever I need. I do have some sleep night stuff that I use, right? It's a little cold if I'm in an area where it's cold. I snuggle up and some pajama pants, right? Um, otherwise, you know, we keep it pretty light, pretty fairly comfortable and easy to move around. Um, if it's raining outside or if it's extremely cold outside, I can sit up right here. And uh, I've got water bottles that I save, okay? And I can drink some water, brush my teeth, you know, use the water bottles, the empty water bottles, and uh, just take them out when, I, when I'm ready to climb out. Wash my face, I use face wipes, Neutrogena face wipes to clean my face. Um, if I don't have a sink available, and, uh, I keep my deodorant, and I keep other things like that I use some oils, essential oils and things like that that I use up in the front because I can put those on during the day while I'm driving, right? That's, that's not a big deal. You're driving. You've got YouTube you're listening to. You've got podcasts you're listening to. I'm trying to learn Spanish. There's a lot of things that I do with my time during the day um, while I'm sitting. So I try to use it as wisely as possible some days. I'm not as good as others, but uh, whatever. We're still getting it done one brick at a time. So, this is my hot shot crib. Filthy's hot shot crib. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all have any questions, comments, let me know if you've got a hot shot already set up. And there are some cool things that you may have put in it um, that I don't have or that you feel like would be really awesome to see. Or, or that you use and are really beneficial, please let me know. Um, you know, this community is a tight-knit community. We understand what it takes to do what we're doing, um, to be that guy who's sleeping in your vehicle. And, uh, you know, people don't really want to talk about it too much or they want to you know, act cool about it or whatever it is. I don't really care. But this is how we get it done and this is how we save money. So y'all be cool.